Good afternoon, everybody. We've been asked to put together a simple circuit for all of you to do at home. Now, obviously, we're covering about three or four year groups. So as you can see, the exercises we're going to show you for year seven, we only want you to do it for 30 seconds. Now, the exercises will come up on the board behind me, but you may want to write them down as we show you how to do them correctly. So I've got this and Sir, they are going to be showing different exercises. And what we'd like to do is put them together in a combination. Now you are going to have, the most important thing is the rest period. If you've got a phone, you can use the stopwatch on your phone, but you must have your rest period. You cannot do 30 seconds of press-ups followed by 30 seconds of sit-ups followed by 30. It's not possible, so don't try, please. Okay, so we're going to talk you through it, but we want to make sure that everyone knows how to do these things correctly. So we're going to start with press-ups. Okay, so this is going to show you how to do a modified press-up. Now, for modified press-ups, your back should be straight, okay, you should be in line, and you should be able to take your chest all the way down to the mat. Okay, so that's a modified press-up. They're the ones, but what we want you to do is we want you to go for 30 seconds. We don't want you to do one press-up and then stop, because that will not change your muscles. So now Mr. is going to do a full press-up, and I'm talking about the year 10s and 11s, and we might show you an example of this at the end of this video, of how it can be done. So arms fully extended to bed. Thank you, Miss. Okay, next one. We're going to go on to sit-ups. Mr. G is just going to show us this one. So, Franz is coming in. We've got someone to hold his feet. Now, you can tuck your feet under your sofa as a way of holding your feet down. But your feet must be flat on the floor and you must have your knees bent. Otherwise, you could damage your back. Mr. Jeeves is going for having the arms across the chest and he's going to come up to 90, 90 degrees. And he's coming up. That is a regular, normal press-up. Sorry, sit up. <laughs> Apologies. So coming up again. Now if you either put your hands across your chest or you put your fingers behind your ears, you never, never do what he's doing now. Put your hands behind your head. That will damage your back and your neck. Okay? Try and make sure that you have a nice soft surface to do this on. Maybe put a cushion underneath your bottom and that will help you. So we don't want to damage the base of the back. So tuck your feet under the sofa and you can do it. Again, 30 seconds and then 30 seconds rest. Okay, move on to the next one. We're going to do what's called high knees. Now this is a little more aerobic. The reason we're doing press-ups, sit-ups and then high knees is we want to change between what's called anaerobic and aerobic. Okay, so we want to split between the two. So this one's going to get the blood flowing a little bit more. So this is just going to show you. So high knees for 30 seconds. Again, if you put your phone on the floor, put a big stopwatch on, you can see a countdown timer, and it's only 30 seconds, and then when you're finished, okay, you have 30 seconds rest. Okay, moving on to something a little more anaerobic. So Mr. G's is going to show you how to do a plank. Again, with a plank, it's all about the core muscles behind your stomach muscles. For the footballers, it's what makes you turn quickly if you've got good core strength. So he's holding that position. Notice his back is completely straight and his bottom is not sticking up. If your bottom's sticking up in the air, you are not using the muscles that you want to use. For a more advanced plank, you can put your hand, one hand out and one hand back. Okay, so this will show you how to do this. So we can do that, hold on, and we go down, and we go up and down. Now again, the 10s and 11s, the boys who've done a lot of training, this is for you. This is not for the 7s. Okay, thank you Mr. G's. Now, we go on to leg raises. Okay? Now, again, you could have, depending on the severity of how you want to do this, you can have, if you grip hold of the underneath of your sofa, okay? I will be the underneath of the sofa, so Mr. Brooks is What she can do is she can bring her legs up, but her legs do not touch the ground, okay? This is doing your lower stomach muscles, but your feet do not touch the ground to do it properly. If you want to work harder, you can do the splits as you go down and then bring them back together, okay? But there's a lot more you can do. Again, it depends on your level of fitness. Some of you will be able to do this 
some of you won't. The sevens don't try and do the real hard stuff, but for some of the tens and elevens, you can do this and you know it because I've seen you do it. Okay, the last two are very simple. We do squats. Mr. G's is going to show you a proper squat. So we're going down quite deep and we're trying to get our so 90 degrees on the knee. And so we're going down in there. So we'll show you from the side, so we're going down deep. It is not just a little jump up and down, okay? We are going right down into it, okay? So that's a squat. Again, 30 seconds and 30 seconds rest, okay? Last one is star jumps, okay? Star jumps. So this is going to show you some nice and easy. When you are doing this in your lounge, please make sure there are no expensive things around you because I don't think your parents will love us if you go and break something like a nice pot so we don't put those together. So what we have is we have seven exercises in total. You will do them for, you go one slide back this, go, we go seven press ups, sit ups, high knees, plank, leg raises, squats, star jumps. Year seven you're going for 30 seconds, you've got 30 seconds rest. Year eight you're going for 45 seconds, you've got 30 seconds rest. The 30 seconds rest, as you can see, the old years, okay, we're not giving you any more rest than the other the seven. But that's because, in theory, the guys who are up here doing 60 seconds, you are fit because you've been through the school for five years. So you can just keep it down to 30 seconds. If you want to make this harder for yourself, if you want to make it harder for yourself, you can either increase the time if you feel that that's appropriate, okay? But please keep the 30 seconds rest in there, okay? Because otherwise your body will have a problem recovering. And what will happen is two days later, when you come back in on Monday, if you do this properly, I don't want people complaining to me and turning around and saying, my muscles are very sore because I've got what's called delayed onset of muscle soreness, dominance because I did it really, really hard, so it's really, really hard, but now I'm sore. That's not good, so make sure the rest is there so the body gets the adaptation. I hope you found this useful. Um, it's a new thing for us, having this online, on YouTube and stuff like that. The description below the YouTube clip will give you exactly what you need to know. Um, and I hope you have oh, a lovely day. Awesome. I hope you see you on Monday. What we're going to do now is we're just going to finish off with a very simple one minute press up challenge. Okay? Try and keep up if you can, but I'd like to bring in two boys from the year 10s, so Kian and Enza. If you'd like to get to the start position, all you have to do is keep up. Okay? Are we ready? One minute, starting now. As you can see, these boys have very good technique. Normally, they'd get about 60 press-ups in one minute. Now, I don't think many of you will be able to keep up with these boys because these boys train on a regular basis on the outside gym. As you can see, there's five, there's four. Have a nice weekend. Thank you and goodbye.